Today, join us on a very special delivery flight from Toulouse to Kangerslussuaq as Air Greenland flies its brand new A330-800neo home for the first time. We tour the new cabin including economy and premium class. We attend the delivery ceremony at Airbus HQ. We try to learn how to pronounce Kangerlussuaq. We check out just how quiet and comfortable the A330neo is. We compete with other aviation YouTubers. We chat with the pilots. And we get the best welcome ever on arrival in Greenland. And much more. So let's do it. The delivery of Air Greenland's beautiful new A330neo Tukak was a very special moment for the airline, for Greenland, and also for those of us who have come to love this country and its airline. How could you not? Just look at these planes. And if you missed my videos from last year flying Air Greenland around the world's largest island, here's a playlist with plenty of content right up top. Here we are. This is Air Greenland's brand new A330neo in the flesh. First time I'm seeing it in person. I've seen a bunch of photos as it's been doing test flights. It is beautiful. I'm tempted to say that this is the most beautiful aircraft livery out there right now. I mean, look at this thing all in red with the black eye mask. Gorgeous. And Air Greenland and the crew are taking some photos in front of the aircraft, ramping up to the delivery ceremony tonight and the actual delivery flight tomorrow morning. And we're about to get let on board to see inside this thing. Uh, I don't know which is more exciting, looking at this beautiful airplane in the flesh or getting to see what the cabins are like in person. Obviously a very important moment significant moment getting this new A330neo for Air Greenland and for Greenland as well and all their ambitions to develop tourism and more links. Exciting for such a small airline from such a small country to take delivery of this beautiful big new red plane and to have it be such an event and have all the Airbus people here and the Air Greenland people and the crew and everything. It's just a great feeling. All right, folks, we're on board Air Greenland's brand new A330-800neo, and this is what the cabin looks like. I've been so curious to see what it would be like in the flesh. And first of all, brand new airplane, new airplane smell, all fresh fabrics on the seats, everything clean. It's amazing. I don't actually know if I've ever been on such a new aircraft, fully outfitted and ready for delivery. This is the galley back here. We're at the back of the economy section. And here, let's take any old seat as an example. It's pretty much what you'd expect economy to be. But nice big glossy screens. Uh, we've been promised that the entertainment systems have been uh, newly designed from scratch. Really nice moving map system, good entertainment, and that they're going to have Wi-Fi, satellite Wi-Fi coming soon. Uh, new fabrics reasonably comfortable, nice looking, really nice colors. Uh, red seat belts, blue and blue green fabrics on the seats. Let's move on up to the very interesting premium section. Go over here. Okay, so this is the premium cabin. So compared to the current A330, there's actually one more seat across. And legroom is a little tighter. Actually quite a bit. This is very similar to like a premium economy that you might find on a given international airline. But they look really nice. It's a very pleasing cabin. And it's nice to see the uh, Greenlandic motifs on the walls, just like before. They haven't done away with that. I really like that aspect.
promise some bigger bins on the A330neo. I suppose they look pretty deep. And then it was time for the gala dinner and ceremony. Quite a sight, and they went all out with the decorations. This is Airbrinas Nardis Investment Ewa. At the first days, Doka will fly between Gangastusur and Copenhagen. But before long, we can look forward to routes between Greenland to destinations abroad. Buenak, merci, buenakorok. There was even a Greenlandic mask dance. Okay, let's do this. It's the morning of the delivery flight and we're at the Airbus Delivery Center once again. And uh, you may not have thought about this, but you actually have to check in for a delivery flight and uh, presumably get a boarding pass and go through security and immigration if applicable. So uh, come along with me inside and we'll see, because I'm discovering this for the first time myself too, uh, we'll see what happens when you check in for a special delivery flight at the Airbus Delivery Center. Got my boarding pass, it was all pretty easy. They didn't even need to see my passport, they just needed to see my Airbus badge to get my name. And uh, now I have this very unique Airbus issued boarding pass. That's definitely one to keep for this scrapbook. Standing here at the Airbus Delivery Center with Hughes Greenland. Uh, your name is Hugh, short for, tell me your actual name. Kupenu. Kupenu. Right. And uh, she does a lot of videos about Greenland, all sorts of things, and you have the biggest following in Greenland, right? Yes. Among, among all your social yeah. media. Uh, so I thought I would rope her into helping me to learn how to pronounce Kangerlussuaq properly. If you look at it spelled, it looks like Kangerlussuaq, but actually the pronunciation... It's Kangerlussuaq. Kangerlussuaq. Uh, yeah, you're very close. Okay, yeah, getting almost there. there. Almost, almost there. <laughs> okay, yeah. thank you very much. You're welcome. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. We are still preparing for takeoff towards uh, Greenland. We have three pilots on board today. I'm the spare one, so I'll be around. Okay. Bon voyage. Thank you. Bon voyage. It was very nice meeting you. You too. Have a nice flight. Thank you. Take care. Be safe. Dear passengers, once again, uh, one welcome on board this Airbus 
is ready. Ready, Neo. The flight time to Ganesha is estimated to be 5 hours and 25 minutes. louder back here in the rear most rows we're in row 45 46 noticeably louder but it might just be worth it for this beautiful wing view there's no wing that looks quite like this a330 neo wing from the rear section of the aircraft that kind of swooping winglet just looks amazing from this angle even better than from the front actually though I'm partial to the engine view as we head in here to the midsection I can tell you one row that you probably want to avoid is row 32 center section why because it's right next to two lavatories and uh, no particular view out even across the aisle do they recline they do they recline and these seats are pretty nice i mean aside from the location of these these economy seats are nice there's definitely enough room it's a reasonable dignified amount of legroom and I'm running into someone else with a camera and pass him that's what these flights are like everyone with their cameras out <laughs> luckily you don't look like a weirdo running around and filming trying out seats and going in and out of laboratories many flights uh, that would get you reported to the authorities but on this one everyone understands what's going on and I think I might have found the nicest seats on this plane if you can get them, row 12 on the sides have great room, two windows, and the best engine and wing view for sure. And the premium seats look like this. I love the fabrics and the colors, and they're very comfortable. I think it's important to go into this knowing it's not a business class but a premium economy instead. It's got more space but not that much more. Air Greenland decided that having the higher seat count, this one fits 305 people versus 278 on the older A330 Norsak, was more important than offering a luxury product. That makes sense when you consider that most of the flights on Tukac will only be around 4 hours long. Combine that with the NEO's 25% reduction in CO2 emissions, and that gives you a really nice sustainability advantage over the older aircraft. 
the very detailed info on the map and the fact that it points out places of interest below is a pretty cool feature of this IFE. Gonna document what the fellow passengers do on this flight. I mean, look exactly. at this. To the sacrifice of your comfort, <laughs> but I'm happy that you are very happy friendly today. Yes, okay, absolutely, really much absolutely. Appreciated. All right, so I have Josh Cahill here, also known as uh, his handle, Go Travel Your Way. And uh, many of you probably know who he is already. He's very well known aviation YouTuber. He's one of the best. And uh, this is the first time actually we're meeting. So it's been a another fun aspect of this totally fun experience being on this Air Greenland delivery flight. But what's also special about Josh is that he is, I think, the world's foremost expert in the A330neo because especially the 800, right? You've been on every single one and you're the only human who has. Uh, but today, yes, yeah, so first of all, thanks for your compliment uh, and uh, uh, um, that you admire my content. That means a lot uh, to me. And uh, yeah, I think I am the, uh, today, officially, the only human that, uh, alive to have been on every um, 330 800neo. Right. I have been on Kuwait Airways, I have been on the delivery flight of Uganda, yeah. um, and now Air Greenland because there's only three customers, so three operators, um, soon to be Garuda Indonesia, but there's no set date. So for this very short amount of time, I'm sure there's FPX who are probably trying the same, where I've been on Kuwait and Uganda, and now they're going to try to do uh, uh, to uh, uh, fly to Greenland to be on this plane. Yeah. But yeah, right now this is the little stories, the little aviation stories behind the scenes. The absolute useless records that you have to your name, but as an athlete, it's kind, kind it's of kind fun. of charming. Yeah, yeah to absolutely, know. Absolutely. Yeah. But it is a masterpiece. You can tell that there's a, a, a handful of people were sitting together and they wanted to come up with something really special. Yeah. They want you, the second you get on board, they want you to feel like you are in Greenland, right? And this is really, this cabin stands testament for what happens if you like, I wouldn't even say it's a boutique airline, it's a family airline because it's run by very passionate people who would do anything for this airline. So it's a work well done. Good point, yeah. Great to have you here. Great to hang out on this flight with you. And uh, if you haven't already, I'm sure you have, but go follow Josh Cahill. Go travel your way. Thank right. you. Thank you. <laughs> and on this length of flight, we have plenty of time to just sit around and relax as well. I'm going to test sleep for seats. All right. Yeah, yeah, so you're yeah. actually going to try to sleep? Yeah. Ah, yeah. It works. All right. We'll check and back I later. Had, uh, one sort of requirement I had for this aircraft was, uh, you know, the, the headrest. Adjustable. Adjustable headrest yeah. for the whole cabin because yeah. they're nice when you, when you want to take a nap. For sure. Yeah. Okay, well, good luck. I hope you do get some sleep. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Approaching the midway point of this five and a half hour flight and things have sort of settled down a bit. Some people have fallen asleep, including the CEO, Jakob Nitter. He seems to have actually fallen asleep almost immediately. So he's either very tired or the economy seats are very nice for sleeping. All right, let's go in and check out what the lavatories are like. Blue review. This is the... Oh. Gabriel, what are you doing here? Excuse this water is all mine. I'm trying to do the first Lou review ever. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Hold on this one. God. He always gets the little reviews first. curious is there any difference from the A330 CO in terms of what you're looking at yes. in the display? Yeah? We have this uh, finger touch. You can swap a... Uh, that's really really okay, uh, yeah. clean. Oh nice. It's on the Neo. Cool. Anything else? Uh, we're from Greenland so they promised us, uh, no they didn't promise, but we ordered it with winter tires. It's very convenient. Nice. You have the studs on there? <laughs> 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 He's playing with the <laughs> <laughs> We have an autopilot flight director TCAS. 
we have the soft go around uh, mode. We have the one way overrun. Uh, oh. Or, uh, not overrun, one way uh, warning and one way uh, overrun uh, protection uh, system. This particular aircraft is designed to, to go for like 12 hours, so we can have 109 tons of fuel on board. Now we only go or fly for four hours, which means we are lightweight. Mm -hmm. So when we leave Copenhagen, we are normally no more than 210 to 215 tons, with a full load of passengers, the necessary fuel, and the cargo we have for the day. So we have uh, asked for a weight variant 806. It's very geek, nerdish, but a weight variant 806, uh, and this is the first one to get it actually, is 215 tons of takeoff, mm. which is all we need. So we don't pay for more than we use, which also means we don't have to pay the overfly, landing and takeoff fees uh, for more than 215 tons. Wow, and that's a paperwork issue. It's nothing, nothing yeah. happens no, to the no. aircraft. It's, it's, it's a real paperwork issue. And then, Tukak enters Greenlandic airspace for the first time, and the always stunning East Greenland greets us with great weather. What a treat. Time to descend into Kangas Lusuak. Uh, this nation uh, weather is good, only light wind, overcast cloud, only high clouds, uh, good weather. So we expect to now, uh, make a visual approach in Kangas uh, Lusuak. And uh, I would like to say thank you to everybody from the cockpits. Thank you. Have a nice day. And even though it's cloudy over here, we still get some great views of the edge of the ice sheet and the Sonderstrom fjord.
And we're here in Congress Lusuak, and I'm back in Greenland. How fun on this beautiful bird that took us in here on a flawless, beautiful flight. It's only 1.30 p.m. here, but uh, the sun has, I think, officially set. And uh, here is Tukak, home for the first time in Congress Lusuak. And what a party it is. Everyone waiting outside in front of the, uh, in front of the airplane to, to greet the arrival of this new A330neo. It's a huge event for Congress Lusuak, the village, the airport, but also, of course, the whole country. Huge moment for Greenland. It's really a special day and so cool to have been a part of it. Now they're gonna have a little celebration here. So the fun goes on. I think the, the feeling that, that, that I'm feeling right now is, uh, is just, I'm proud. Uh, I'm proud of my team, I'm proud of our company, I'm proud of uh, Greenland as a country and uh, yeah, just uh, happy. It was a, quite an em emotional experience for all of us and uh, I think uh, the comparison that we did last night at the delivery event in Airbus where we compared the size of France, you know, with 67 million people to uh, the 57,000 people of Greenland Buying one Airbus for a Greenland would be the equivalent of Air France buying 1,176 Airbuses. So that just puts it into perspective. We are a very small nation. So this symbolizes that even though we're a small country, we can, we can actually be a player and, and we can actually achieve great things if, if we work together. And I think that was the, the emotion that we all felt. It's like, this is a huge moment for all of us. Uh, and, and it was very special. In Congress Lusuak for Flight Radar 24, I'm Gabriel Lee.